close maps. Vitality taking a peek into middle. Shox gets out of the connector that's already smoked, and G2 starts to run amok, starts to run fast through Con. Shox, nice shot, but he won't get any more done. And Daiwu for the back of spawn, picking off a single kill. His teammate does die on the balcony, and the window isn't broken either, so Hunter can't flank these CT players, but he's calling the rotates. He hears every footstep. Bomb getting planted. Vitality with no kit, in for a retake. And all three coming from CT. The P250 of oh. Nexa down in Con isn't even needed. Hunter just pushes ahead, takes all those fights. Jax as well getting stuck in. Moving up to a B split, no info. So I was trying to grab it. Can he actually stop someone? There's Util down and G2 come around the corner. Oh. Scout shot is good. Any more from Apex? He just misses that second player, but they're up close, killing Masuta, who's hidden in the smoke, not to his own choice. Scout gets a tag, but nothing more. That's a good D from Sai Wu. Can he make this round a reality, or will it be G2 back on the board? Yeah, but that kill going in the uh, the way of Sai Wu, he's looking oh. to try and get another pick into this site. Oh, running them down. The bomb plant comes in. Zai Wu cut down by Hunter. And now it's left on to RPK. A 1v2 to navigate between Nico and Hunter. And already dinked down low on that first peak. The odds of RPK finding anything here out the window. Mid smoke coming into the window. Hunter gonna try and continue this. Top con smoke to fake out that they're going B. That's not what's happening. And I think Apex has probably worked that out now. Pushing Palace, killing Nico with his knife out. And now Vitality just sit back and wait. Oh, flash is good. <laughs> but Wu still able to get one despite being blind. And so this attempt at a bonus round has not gone well for G2. Hunter trying to even the playing field as best he can. Pushed up deep in Palace, right? It's Apex. That's someone else you got to worry about here if you're uh, if you're G2. Zai Wu. Oh. <laughs> Just isolating each and every one of these fights. They try to flash Hunter in, and Zai Wu striking after the flashbang is told. Oh. Next, sir, just charging fast out into A, and that Molotov Whoa. could deal with RPK. Yeah, it's going to no. burn him down low, but he smokes it off. And while that fake was attempting to be sold by Nexa, the rest of G2 have their eyes set up here short side. Zai Wu alone oh. in the apartments, always in the right place at the right time. And ultimately, G2 with 55 seconds left, they're the ones feeling the pressure. Uh oh. Oh. He dropped. Chox makes noise. Oh. That's hurt. Nico, given a freebie, given a chance. Oh dear. That's not what you wanted if you were Vitality. You had this round in the bag. Now, low HP RPK is the only man trying to hold on to this A bomb site. Losing Shoxy there might really come back to her Vitality. Zaiwu, the pressure is on for him. Down into mid he goes. Can't afford to miss this shot to Nico. Oh. And there's oh. the flick. Deals with Nico the second time around. It's left on to Hunter. Now, RPK, not much of a threat here, not much of a problem. It is Zaiwu, the man that you're worried about if you're Hunter. Trying to flash him off the angle. He's tapped him out of the round and now down to the 1v1. But RPK oh. is quick on his feet and even quicker on the trigger. Vitality doesn't have armor either, so he's fully vulnerable to aim punch here. Now, the amount of control that G2 have over towards Ladder Room, over, oh, sorry, over towards Jungle and Connector is good. And it lets them put a lot of pressure on this A bomb site. Now, they hear this gun rattling off from short. It's Masuta making his presence known. And Zaiwu back in CT is good for a kill as well. So the numbers starting at the windle. Back in with another is Zaiwu locking in the round. Like they've not seen anyone on top of those boxes. They've just heard them come through. Now an A play, 40 seconds, good grenade. And it does a lot of damage. RPK, oh, he lines them up. Two kills, Zywu covers onto Nexa. Now Nico in connector and nice wall bang, but one on four. Oh, he's got the taps. Maybe there's a chance. Time is the biggest problem though. Yeah, 24 seconds. And into the A site he goes. He does have this bomb, but it's the player in Palace, Apex, just being patient. It's going to cause him a world of problems here. Once again, Vitality doing a really good job of just not giving Nico the room to make that clutch happen.
two players tucked. Masuta will shock swing on this contact. They see him and he gets away a one. Shocks not helping out. This is actually really smart. They're not going to be ready for it. Surely he would have traded. Surely he would have assisted. No, he drops the bomb back in the app. So Shocks unleashes in the site. Two kills. Nexa alone a long way away. And Shocks, he may be dead, but he's made this round a reality. Even moving forward here is a death sentence. Shox needs to hold his own, and there's the kill. Teammate swinging, clears B apartments. Now they know it's an A take. Yeah, the info's there, and even more worrying. Wonder Kid Zaiwu is back in CT. Very, very good in this position. Masuta is flanking the lower tunnels as well, so he's dealt with Nico down in mid. And now they know these other two players are out through the connector. RPK and Masuta go on a bit of a tear to close that round out for Vitality. Opener and now G2. They're going to speed things up off the back of it. I like it. Not waiting around anymore. It's not like Vitality give them kills in these positions. Apex over the stairs in the smoke gets a double and escapes into middle where he trades his teammate. Nico gone and even the spam connects to Jax who will go for the bomb plant. It's not default. That's where the Molly is. It will miss. He dies. Zai Wu, one on two. He's got full grenades and Jax is already battered and bruised as well. Next are on the full flank. No, he's going to Palace instead. Far more safe with the bomb not planted for ramp. Or it is rather, sorry, it's behind triple, but Zaiwu, how can he figure this one out? Moving in slowly but surely, checking everything. And not ready for Jack. Still in the sight. I like that position. Apex has done enough, right? That key trade from Nexa helps lock that round in. So all right, a little bit more out, G2. What? Oh, what, okay. Zaiwu? Hello, a quick double, fully blind for the second, finally traded by Nico, and that is it. A huge trade for Nico to get. He was pretty quiet yesterday on the AWP, but this is a round from him here, two in it. And one of them being Zaiwu, the other AWP now removed as well. Nico's just gone toe to toe with, you know, one of the most deadly double AWPs in Counter-Strike, and he's emerged on the other side with two kills under his belt. Amanek has snuck deep with him B in the meantime. Does have to make noise dropping down, so Masuta is aware of this, but still blindsided by just how deep he's gotten. Uh, Apex is removed as well, and so this B side locked in. Nico with a hell of a round, three in it. Inside of B, despite being alone there at that point in time. Back to middle, Zaiwu, ooh, it looked like he wanted to jump, and he's really missed it this time. Does hit and collat, though, that will do. Zaiwu almost gets a second shot off. It's Nico to find Apex. I was still fighting for his life right now. Surely he escapes through B. It is safe. The B player isn't coming in lower to help. Instead, Amanek is looking for the pick into the site, but I was killed everyone in middle, and Mizuta swivels to find the final player. RPK, oh, he hears a drop. He knows there are players behind this smoke, but he doesn't want to shoot because he could get spammed right back. They flash through and he's there, ready to fight. Tooth the nail, RPK with a 3k. Uh, K, and now Nico trading through the smoke, but feels too little too late. Hunter's under. Oh, it's down to these two again, right? Trying to navigate this, but as we've learned, just consistently being denied the opportunities to reclaim bodies. There are so many players who can deal with Nico here that this round should be undoable for him. Masuta has missed the timing on him getting up into top con. And so Apex is a little freebie, but there is that trade coming in. And so Vitality, 10 to 5 at the end of the first half. Yeah. Here in the UK, here in Britain, Nico looking out into middle. He's not having a fun day thus far, though, because they forced him out of the window. And now they're taking the window by storm. Look at this, the speed, the pace. They're in your face, they're in the A site. And a bomb plant looking to come in, but Nico has got the opener. Yeah, bomb is open, not for the connector, but for ramp, for jungle as well. And we know that Vitality already have this window control. The B play comes in, they push apps, one flanking, one under. Zywoo ready. Oh, he looks away. Timing is everything, and Hunter's found it to perfection. Two kills for G2. This retake starting off strong, and oh, Nico hasn't moved. Misuta walks in. RPK tapped out. It's the Kovac Cousins killing everyone, and Jax finally responds as G2 take a flawless pistol round. Exa dropping the smoke on the timing, and now Apex is kind of rendered useless for this point in time. Vitality gonna crunch. The timing of that crouch is not good, but Nico gets out a little bit further back. The smoke dropped. Jax traded through it, and now Zywu getting up close. Scary stuff. Nico hitting headshots from the back of the site, and Nexa comes through as well with a perfect kill. Oh, it's just Zywu, but we know what he can do. Three kills in the round, looking for the ace.
Yeah, surely not, right? Surely, as he goes back to get this bomb, he's been able to retrieve it through the smoke. There's the peak from Hunter that we were waiting for. And Amanek having a bit of a slow start. Maybe the AWP will pick him back up. It also lets him solo B on this A attack. Three players pushed in deep side with a miss spray. Mizuta trades. Nexa lines up a double. Make it three. And this is a clean round for G2. Far easier than the anti-eco appears. Shox is late. And Nico has the headshot angle. So he's just fine. Still available for a quick rotation, oh. right? But the only man left inside of the B site is Amanek with this AWP. This shot from Zaiwu. There's Amanek with the first. His AWP cancelled out after one. They need to clear this site because still tucked in it is Hunter who's come back from the market. Finally, Masuta is there and in a very, very big way. Two kills to his name and now looking to go aggressive. Maybe take even more. He's pushed up close to market oh, no. door and in with the swing. It's almost the lineup. Zaiwu versus Nico to round out this round. Bombs planted for the apartments. Nico, no idea where Zaiwu could be. Having to clear all of these angles as he moves in to get on this bomb and with how much time there is he's got to get on it now or else there just isn't time and with that kill it's gonna be close Ooh. it's gonna be very very close in fact and g2 they get it it's down to the wire but the long rotation in from nico works wonders setting up for an a split trying to come through connector jacks on this position again and already calling for a b rotate they've read this well through the smoke jacks gets a kill he gets caught in no man's land though still three players here two tucked in on the site nico waiting for the palace swing that smoke complicates matters he might have a gap on the bottom right of it but masuta's already coming in through corner now nico diverted does get that kill smoke drop next to peak they were never ready for it after already seeing two in the site and next gets dropped on nico spammed out and somehow vitality have made this round interesting they're gonna reset and i love this call amanek has rotated to b throwing a molotov into the b apartments and now is actually coming back hunter just needs to stay alive for even a moment and getting oh, away no. with that first kill is a hell of a start now the rotation up through con oh, on this oh. orb from amanek is good and well timed and it allows that kill to come in he's gonna hope to get a little bit more but this time smoked off and again fast into b for vitality Oh, Nico going to hide in this smoke. Wait on the other side of it. Amanek drawing the attention away from Nico, giving him that much more room to work with. And if you give Nico a little bit of room, he will make you regret it. Two in the round already. Jax through the smoke has deleted Apex. And Nico left standing at that B bomb site, tall at the very end of it. And they're even going to try and take some control apex all flash oh, he doesn't know i don't think he saw them he swings out seemingly aware and nico does get that trade it's a low hp but he gets away alive vitality was set up towards that b bomb site early oh flashed out and still gets the kill Molotov at short immediately baits a bit of a rotation out of hunter right who's now cautious about this mid rotation Amanek catches shocks in the apartments and Zaiwu late up through the catwalk while Hunter is still holding for this wrap in through jungle. A very good read from G2 as to what real estate these players have and what they could be looking to do with it. Bombs up through Con. They hear these footsteps, right? Hunter can hear them thanks to his window position with two tucked back in CT. Even though Nico doesn't get that kill, it's a bait and switch. It's all designed for this late peak from Nexa. Bomb plant denied. G2 up to 15. And he's winning all his fights. 15 to 10. No T rounds. Smoking Molotovs. Desperation for RPK. And he hasn't even got support. He's dead at the first hurdle. Bomb in Palace. And through the connector they run. Hunter is here to stop it. And he mows them all down. Three kills for Hunter. And get out of town, Vitality. Apex will never check for the second man. And what a game for G2 Esports. Storming through. I'm devastated, man. I was just setting up mine and Hugo's camera so you could see us all. And it didn't work. And now it's working but the pistol is live and so there's no time to look at us because we got to look at these beautiful faces in the server look at apex man look at that face look at hunter always oh, charming you couldn't help but get charmed by hunter this smoke i've not seen this liner before maybe left and right gens coming through hunter Trapped a default Molly at the back. They know this is the only place he can be, but they haven't checked it. RBK running in with his back turn. Jax pushing through the smoke, dropping the bomb, and now shocks in a clutch. Oh, he's done some damage, but he needs to hunt this kill while he's got it. Jax dancing. Shocks can't hit the one bullet he needs, and he's going to trade places, go through CT into A.
<laughs> what a ruse. What an escape. Jox is no stranger to clutching rounds out. Over at ramp with the bomb planted for him. Jax is just sticking it. I do like this call, right? Getting on the bomb right away. Shox never expects it. And even though he domes Nico on the peak and finishes off Jax, he gets all the kills. Nico waiting for a headshot angle to appear. Shox moving up short. Nexo is dropping a smoke. He's just wiggling. Oh, it's a nade rather. And Shox goes right through Nexo with his back turn. He's got players coming from either side. And Nico gets wall banged out of the round. Vitality coming back in with the force. And it may be successful after all. Look at this. It's like a family photo. The back of ramp. They're all just huddled up together. They almost rotate back, but now they reconsider hearing feet patter at the top of ramp. Nexon needs something off of this position at the worst to kill, and there it is. Shock's gone. Can't grab the AK. Apex with the bomb doesn't want to lose it. He drops it and goes for the trade on his own. Hero play. Now a boost up on the site. That's not what they want. Nico's providing some cover, though. Jax does get cleared, and they're ready for the second man, but they can't kill him. Zaiwu spamming Amanek out of the round. There's still a chance here for Vitality to deathmatch on this A site, and now Hunter is tucked in on short while Nico lays down covering fire. Oh, Hunter jiggles, and RPK knows he can't stick the bomb. He's not safe. This is a really rough spot to be in for RPK. And tapping the bomb there oh. baits the peak out of Hunter. Oh. That's something. RPK with the double. A lot of attention towards the short side, Jax. He gets the dink to RPK. And Nico is able to trade that, leaving just Zaiwu in the 1v3 with his weapon of choice. But a lot of bodies still to find. A very little time to get it done in 25 seconds here as Zaiwu rounds the corner. Spotted now by the player on boost. And Nico might be blinded. He's still good for the kill. Good time to reset. You've forced so many rotates to this B bomb site. They leave RPK here and they go back to the stairs. But they don't leave. They're just going a bit quiet, hoping that G2 think it's not four players. And waiting for another kill to present itself. Oh yeah, Jax is in with the swing and he's still a threat. Oh, sees Zaiwu as well and spots players at the ramp. They have a very good idea where everyone is right now for Vitality. Jax <laughs> is getting spammed and Surely. eventually they should deal with him. Like they have fired so many. Apex is almost out of ammo. He's got 17 <laughs> bullets left in his gun. And up he goes. Well, there you go. Didn't need the 17 bullets, I guess. They don't know what's lurking in the dark behind them. Hunter and Nexa creeping in could end this entire round, but instead, oh, it's ugly. Hunter with some missed shots. Nexa now needs to pick it up. And there he is slamming it down to the 1v1. Ooh. And then Zai Wu missing the shot. He hits a tag. Yeah, through the box, right? But Nexa. And so Vitality, they're, they're just getting churned up in between two double setups and after hunter dies like the last thing you're ready for is a second flank you've already killed the flank but no next is so quick and only eats a, an orb shot no guns to be given over hunter does he get cleared or do they just assume it's free apex with a kill and hunter gets one but zywoo wraps him on the wrong side or the, on the long side rather and takes that frag as well as a gun faking the bomb but there's no one else on this a site can go for the stick and get that money guaranteed Yeah, they should be able to deal with him, right? But I, you always you always say should when it comes to Zaiwu because you know you should be able to do a lot of things and sometimes get it past this guy. Oh, it can get dicey, Zaiwu. Wow. Now down to the one versus two. They're not on the bomb yet. Nico wrapping down through the bottom of ramp. Keeps it all in check and stops us worrying. G2 are up on a six control and it's been taken off of them they do go back to b so you understand where the the nature of this call is coming from but it gives a lot of room Whoa, next so there's no accounting for that and that is a huge scalp to find you've taken zywu out of the round and molotov as well to deny the bomb plant and now with amanek flanking that's him from this mid aggression coming in with hunter even later on a flank of his own this is an undoable round for vitality you'd like to think and oh what 
a wall bang onto the plant at just RPK left, and Nico makes mincemeat of him. Yeah, we started seeing players learn the lineups there. You, you mentioned like it's, it might be a mystery for G2 to peel out of A, but I actually think that's completely by design. I think even if they're still expecting an A play, they know they want to play retake. They don't want to die on the ramp, so they just leave one man there. They fully rotate out, double B, double mid. Yeah, Nico put on a bit of a show with this orb the last time around. He's got to do it again. Amanek once again on another flank in through B. The info is in for G2. Three players here to fight in the site. The only problem that Amanek is going to have is because he's wrapping T-spawn and he's sneaking this whole way, this flank is very delayed or he's got to start making noise. That kill from Hunter helps break a lot of pressure away from these three players fighting for control of the bomb site, and now means that Vitality are homed in on Amanek on this flank. They try to push shocks off of short. They deal with him successfully. It's just Saiwu left, and there's Nico delivering the round winning kill at eight to three. G2. A nice round for Vitality, right? Giving a lot of room on A, they just take it, get that plant in. Nice run boost. Oh no, he shoots, he's fully blinded by a CT flash. Hunter doesn't even know, he has no idea that Zywu is here, as he just sits waiting for him to go back up the stairs, calling to his team, I have a kill, and he'll take it, as the next flash comes in as well. Hunter's like, how did he get there? Shocks, finding Jax in mid, what a weird circumstance. So he has all this information at A and a lot of information ahead of time. And so this is facilitating a two-man stack in the B bomb site. They've smoked him off. I wonder if that's going to force a rotate. Oh. Oh, yeah. Masuta catching Nico going through the smoke. And now Amanek nor Nexa really knew what to expect at that point in time. They lost all their information at A. Flash into mid. Nico's fallen off. Jax is here, though. Oh, he doesn't need Nico. He's got two on his own. Now the orb's in play, but Jax trying to jump will not escape. Nico hits a tag, but he also is down to 20 at the same time. And Amanek peels away from B to sit at the back of the site. We know this spot has provided a lot of cover, maybe too much cover, to G2 in this game so far. Hunter is nowhere near him, though. They're stacked up on A right now. Uh, oh, that's a flash. Amanek peeks with it and blinded his RPK off of his teammates instead. So I will try to cross and get close, and he does. Doming Amanek. Another flash. Hunter peeks off of it. Good team play from the Cousins, and now Apex is left in a clutch. Yeah, he knows that Molly's going to force these oh. peeks out of the SMG. But G2, man. This double ramp set up again as well, right? But this time, Nico has the AWP challenging from the sandbags. So Nico draws your attention in, and you're hoping that they discount Hunter, but they're ready for it. Vitality, they've actually seen you do this exact play before. They knew what was coming. Nico is now trapped at the sandbags, desperately looking for a way out, an angle, anything. And they do back off. They do give Nico the respect. Jax could hit one hell of a timing and uproot the entire round. What? He's only good for one, but a lot of damage onto RPK. And now for Amanek hitting a, a stellar timing on this mid flank. It's all coming down to this hold in middle. And that kill is free. Shoxy left in the clutch. He's got to go for the bomb. And Amanek is here holding it, not willing to give the package away. Yeah, he gets smoked though. This is a good call to leave, right? Like, the first smoke is nice, but now Shox has just turned this into a swimming pool of smoke. No info. Spamming it, and Amanet closes the half. 10-5, not in the way of Vitality. In fact, it's G2 who have won up them here. Can they close the series in two? A pissed around victory could really decide the flow, the outcome of this game. Yeah. G2, look at the steel top of the group right now, and it might be theirs on a platter. Shock certainly is. He's trapped to the back of the sandbags. Apex, they're already past your molly, mate. Nexus finished the job, and Saiwu good for one, but the Glocks are already out short. Apex calls its molly. It was anything but three players running through, and G2 control all of the site now. Oh, even smoke to CT. They don't have the time to wait that out, and going through would be a death sentence. Nice tap for RPK, but with Hunter up close, it's a hard kill to find. Hunter's giving him a chance, but fadeaway shot. And now Mizuta in the clutch. He's picked up the kit with Kevlar as well. That's a huge help. But surely he's not going to get away with a stick in the 1v2. They can afford to throw bodies at the problem. There's the blind, and next has got the frag. Good flash from Hunter, and G2 on the board with a pistol. Yeah, we got a four spy on the cards for Vitality. They want to try and turn this around here and now. Oh, that's not the start you wanted, though. 
Another one for the, the tally. Yeah, Nico as a star, shining brighter than Zaiwu. Impressive stuff, especially considering Zaiwu was like 30 bombing over on Mirage. Like, he was wrecking. Yeah, but, but if you remember, Nico caught up, right? Yeah. And it did feel like, like every clutch Zaiwu was in, like every 1v3, he'd kill two, but not the third. Like, th these rounds are usually his. And today, well, denied by G2 Jax. They're not ready for you, mate. You have a great position. That's one. Trying to double up RBK with the headshot. Crucial frag, but he's lost B in the process. Space being taken by G2 all over the map. And now a 1v1 on this B site. Oh, that could be the round for Mizuta. He's found it. The bomb is so far away for Nico. He can either go for the kill and risk it all or go back for the bomb. It is the migrating season. <laughs> and maybe even mating season as Mizuta goes across the land to another biome. Oh no, Nico, he's done it. <laughs> Tom to five. We went back into Minecraft yeah, at the end, wanna, into another biome. Gonna tie it in a little bit. Apex with a gap, but this, what looks nice for him is it's not as easy as can be. Hunter's waiting and he sees the jiggle. Oh, now Apex has done a lot of damage. Hunter's going to try and molly it off. Two players on short. They can get cleared, pushed back into the grenade. It's a good one as well. Oh, even spammed. Four players here, now three. So got to be ready for more waves of re-aggression. Masuta's is going for it. Oh, flick back for Hunter, jumps up. Here's Iwu. Oh, he doesn't hit the shot. One bullet was all he needed. Shocks can't do it either. And RPK, a B, not for long. Amanek clears it out. Shocks is so close, man. This bait peak for RPK, drawing them into his crosshair. When does Amanek decide to go? RPK making noise. Molly, jump shot by Amanek. That's filthy. Flash high, and he can hunt down RPK in the site, who has dropped the bomb, and everyone falls like flies. Blink and you miss it. Well, maybe more than one. Maybe more than one, maybe more than 10. Who knows, right? Why stop at one? Apex, oh, oh. my word. This has all gone a little bit wild. Apex is on for a big, big flank. And there's the double. Apex causing trouble. They can't seem to find him. Nico trying to sniff out this man Ooh. at the bottom of ramp. And there he is getting the trade. A two on two. It's still doable for G2. You thought that Apex and Zywu with those three kills had maybe done enough. But now it all hangs in the balance. Shoxi and RP. K on for this retake that hasn't even started yet. Nexa is just waiting and he gets delivered the exact peak he was waiting for, but the shot has missed. And now it is Nico all the way down at the bottom of ramp, very far removed from the action. They're going to swing him together. So does he try and force the fights before that turn? Smoke down. Do they go through? Yes, they do. And Nico, oh, the tap. No way. He's done it. That is filth for Nico. Oh my goodness. He heard scope and he was like, what, this? <laughs> Wait, hang on. You're telling me Kenny was using the one that doesn't fire a lot of bullets. Yeah. He was using the one bullet he version. He only needs one, man. He only needs one. And a two on three. Explosive B play. Yeah. Not really the start the G2 wanted, right? Losing this many players and now committed to B. Hunter but it's Hunter going. and Nico, man. So if good. any two little family relations could get you believing in a round, it's likely to be these Lucas two. Lucas and Henny? Lucas and Henny as well. That's who, actually. Yeah. Everyone always says Nico and Hunter are good, but not Lucas and Henny. Hunter. Oh, there's that first kill. Trying to get this game over the line right here, right now. They have a molly. And it's trying to be a family affair. Yeah, the Molotov on Nico. That's going to come in handy the longer this takes of vitality. Molly on the bomb goes in early. And Nico is fighting. Now leaving it all on Zai Wu. He taps the bomb, but Nico takes his head off. And man, another series that G2 have been able to pick up. We may as well call them G2O at this point, man. They're wrecking folks. Taking names.